Okay, it's beer o'clock getting on the real ale guy. Today's beer is a beer from Oakham Ales and is the it is their Green Devil IPA in a big six sixty bomber bottle. It's six percent ABV. Look at that, I'm just gonna tilt my head around to the side because there's a bit of information I'll read to you. It's 2012 Supreme Champion CBA National Beer Award, a gold medal. Uh, 2011 gold for premium strong bitters in the Seba East competition. Um, really looking forward to this. I have reviewed so far from Oakham their Bishop's Farewell and their Citra. They were both beautiful beers. Let's get this baby open, shall we? Uh, this bottle. Now, before I go on, I was going to use a little. Nice aroma glass for this beer, but since it's the real ale guide, and since it's a big bottle, we're gonna chuck it in a big old pint glass. Why not? Why not? I'd like to thank my good friend, Mr. Real Ale in 140, for this beer. He knows I like my IPAs. He knows I like ochre males. So it made sense when he was in the beer shop that he thought, I'm going to buy my mate a beer. So he did. It's a one finger head. It's clear, clear glass of beer, nice levels of carbonation. It's pale in colour, but I can smell the passion fruit from here. It smells absolutely wonderful. Get a nose. Cheers. Oh. Nelson Sovin all the way. Now this, believe it or not, I've just reviewed a beer from Denmark. And it had Nelson Sovin in. But it just didn't have this level of beautiful aroma. This really does. You can smell a Nelson Sovin for a mile off. It's not that kind of tart kind of beer. No, this is this is proper full on Nelson Sovin. It smells wonderful. Tropical fruits, uh, mango, pineapple, grapefruit, all of them flavours. I'm gonna have to dig into this. It smells absolutely wonderful. Cheers everyone. Oh, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's, first and foremost, it's a good, good, refreshing beer. It's not sticky, and I've got like a, a big, thick, cloyny mouthfeel. It, it just, bang, it slides down. It's got the consistency of a very, very good water. It's probably based on a very, very good water. Where are these guys based? And I'll let you know, Peterborough. Um, I'll Google Peterborough in England later on to see if they've got a fantastic water source. But from tasting this beer, the most important thing, never mind the hops though, the hops are amazing. Don't get me wrong. But I've just reviewed another beer. Like I said, okay, it's Evil Twin Brewing Company in Denmark just reviewed their cat's piss, as they call it, but it was thick, it was cloney, it was, it probably didn't have the right water content, but it did have Nelson Sovin, it was nice in that department, but there's a key ingredient to beer, and if you get it right, if you use a fantastic water source, then I think you've got more or less most of the battle won. You just need to do some, if you're a good brewer, a bit of intelligent brewer either, brewing either way. But this, phenomenal, phenomenal mouthfeel, phenomenal refreshing beer. Nelson Sovin then. It's a nice level of carbonation. It helps to bring and spring 
the beer around the mouth to release a lot of the aromas. It's so good, it's so good. It's got a nice level of bitter in on the back end, but it's malty, it's juicy, it's hoppy, it's fruity, tropical fruit, it's grapefruit, it's mango. Absolutely phenomenal beer. But, again, I've got to go back to it. The reason I'm excited, the reason I'm passionate about this beer, the reason it's taking it above and beyond, and it's why my voice is at a volume at, as it is, is because of the water source. It's 6% ABV, so it's probably 96, 97% water. If you have a beer, this 96 or 97 percent water like most beers are then it's you really can taste and have a feel in your mouth of the water quality and i think it's so important i cannot stress it enough it is such a refreshing beer it's bottle conditioned it's a clean glass of beer. I'm going to give it a, re a read on the back of the bottle. India Pale Ale was traditionally brewed strong with lots of hops and green devil. This uh, carries this to new heights. It's amazing hop harvest. Aroma is bursting with passion fruit, pineapple and mango. Developing into a refreshing citrus bitterness and crisp dry aftertaste. It sure does. Absolutely wonderful. If, by any chance, you have not tried a beer from Oakham yet, then, and you were in the UK or, or near the UK, you really are missing something. If you like beer, you're watching now, you're missing this brewery. Have a look at their website. It's www.oakhamales.com. Email them at info at .com. It's bottle conditioned. If you're new, if you've caught this channel by accident, I'm going to show you bottle conditioning. It's the second fermentation in the bottle. Basically, the brewer adds yeast. It gives the beer... It's the, it's the traditional, old-fashioned way of carbonating a beer. Giving it a bit of fizz, a bit of welly. It's not... No CO2 added to this beer, but you can see, I think there might be, no, it's all in, all the yeast is in. See now the difference in the colour. It's murky, there's bits of sediment floating around. It's just tradition, it's, it's good old fashioned tradition. It's, again, I'll say it's how they used to carbonate beer years ago, but it's become very fashionable again from 2010 onwards. Wonderful, wonderful looking beer. Wonderful, wonderful tasting beer. Time for me to give a rating. It's just pure excitement. It's just, if you're a beer lover, Sometimes it's, it's kind of unexplained why a beer gets you as excited as I am now. It just does. So for that reason, with all the flavours that I've mentioned, the quality of the water, the quality of the malt, the fact that it's in a brilliant 660 bottle so I can go away and carry on enjoying my full pint here. For me, Oakamales. Green Devil IPA gets a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. Go out, check it out. It's a phenomenal beer. Thank you for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like. Cheers.